Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here and welcome back to another a random match here on WE 2K18. I nearly said random Finn there. Uh, this one was suggested by Lil Mark Strike and it is going to be Finn Balor versus Demon Finn Balor. Now of course for some reason 2K and their wisdom have decided to split the two characters this year, which I half understand because they've got different stats and so forth and that sort of makes sense. But the other side, it means that you can't really use both in a universe mode effectively because the, the feuds they're in don't travel across the two characters plus... The ranking, uh, the sorry, the mo uh, momentum points and the uh, status effects in the universe mode don't carry across both characters as well. So that's a little bit frustrating, but still, I, I sort of half understand it. I what I might do myself is I might just create a second attire for um, for Finn Balor as the demon. Maybe that'll work for us anyway. But yeah, like I said, it's been uh, suggested by Lil Mar Strike. And of course, if you have any suggestions for random matches you would like to see, then of course do drop them in the comments section down below. And we'll add them into the hat. For you uh, and uh, yeah, Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Damn that PJ Toby, Finn Balor, eh? So, of course, I was desperate for Finn Balor as my first pick on Octane, but PJ Toby knew, I'm sure he knew that. And he waited until the very point where I was about to pick him and stole him from underneath my nose to take him to the Attitude Era version of, uh, of Mayhem, of course, which I don't know if Finn really suits to, but I'm sure PJ Toby has ideas. Um, we'll have to figure out, wait till it happens. Maybe at some point I'm going to have to offer a trade at some point, I don't know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? But I'm sure we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I wonder if I've got anyone to trade, actually. I spent, oh, what? I was terrible at work today. I literally spent all my time at work doing SWE Universe Mode stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty shocking, really, isn't it? Like, eight hours just on the computer typing up spreadsheets and typing up match types and doing um, all this different sort of stuff. It was a uh, pretty shocking arena. Who would PJ Toby be interested in for his... Yeah, I know he want, he want the British Bulldogs when he... Or maybe uh, maybe I can get away with Nigel McGuinness. That's an interesting idea as well. I don't know, there's a few he might be interested in. Um, William Regal as well is another one. Yeah, it could cost me somebody very, very good, but... Finn Balor could really be a dominant force in Octane. And of course, Finn Balor versus Kenny Omega could be a dream match in itself, I suppose. You know, if you're out there and you're thinking of a match, maybe Finn Balor versus Kenny Omega could be one of them. So Finn's looking pretty... I'll tell you what, I can definitely tell the graphics improvement this year. I don't know if I'm just going a bit crazy or what, but the graphics improvement seems like there, there is a pretty big improvement to me. Um... I did the Shawn Michaels versus Dolph Ziggler match yesterday, and that, that felt a lot more realistic to me. So it'll be interesting to see how this one feels as well. This one won't feel as realistic, of course, because it's Finn Balor versus Finn Balor. It's about as realistic as you can get fighting yourself, I suppose, isn't it? But still, it's a, it, it should be a pretty cool-looking match. I think there's definitely been a, a big graphics overhaul this year. But for me, graphics was never the issue. For me, the issue was gameplay last year, and... So far in the two matches we've done already, gameplay does look like it has improved. Has it improved enough though to make a a fluid game and a game that is usable for a long period of time without me getting really frustrated and salty all the time? That's the question. And there he is, of course, Finn Balor. Okay, slightly different attire from last year. Of course, wearing some sort of sarong now. And has a umbilical cord by the looks of it. Uh, hanging off of his wrist. Uh, yeah, slightly different. He's got the the uh, the teeth across his spine now. I think this, uh, this wasn't the... Um, oh, this is the one with the big eye on the back, is it? Yeah, this is one with the eye on the back. Okay. Now, the problem that 2K and that probably have, isn't it? Is that Finn Balor always slightly changes his attire whatever he does, the demon attire. And, of course, it's so difficult to keep on top of things, but I quite like this one. Of course, if you go on the community creations, there's a whole section of different Finn Balors, and I quite like that. I do quite like that. Without, um, well, it's not really giving you any information, is it, really? Because it's what I've found, not what PJ Toby's found, but there's a lot of, um, what's the right phrase? There's a lot of Finn Balors that have specialised attires based on people they're facing against, which is something we did last year in 2K17, at the very beginning, wasn't it? We did um, Finn Balor versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Finn Balor had a purple sort of face paint. 
and wore um, a tyre reminiscent to The Undertaker. We had the same thing when he faced off against Kane and the same thing when he faced off against Sting as well. So it was pretty cool, actually, seeing it that way. So this is the... We've seen Finn Balor already, not in one of our random matches, though we saw Finn Balor as part of a match during our draft against Shinsuke Nakamura. I've got no idea what happened, and I've got no idea who won, so I can't really help you out there, because like I said, myself and PJ Toby were concentrating far too much on the draft, and we completely lost track of what was happening in the ring, which is why sometimes it took a little bit of time to start a new match, but I hope you guys did enjoy the draft. Anyway, it was, uh, it was a bit more difficult than normal, because it started off fine, but because we did it literally on release day, we were so knackered by the end of it, because we'd literally been going at it from dead on midnight, and it was gone free, half free by the time we finished. And we were just so knackered that it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it was started strong and maybe, maybe tailed off a little bit towards the end. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. Here we go then. Finn Balor versus Finn Balor for Lil Mark Strike. Now this is going to be an absolute bugger to commentate on, isn't it? Balor on Balor and Balor and Balor and Balor. So I'm going to I'm going to go for Balor and Demon. Hopefully that that will uh, hopefully that will stick in my mind and I won't keep switching it up and getting it wrong every two minutes. So Bala bringing Demon back up. The Demon there with the Dragon Screw. Now, I believe that um, Finn Bala himself is rated around about an 88. Whereas Demon Bala, I believe, was 92. So um, you can see the difference. And you can understand why they, they, they separate the two characters was to highlight that difference. But another part of me thinks they separated the two characters because they were so intent on telling everyone you had a massive, massive roster this year. And part of that was to split up a lot of the people with the tyres. Now, I don't mind. Um, but at the same time, when you have five or six different stings as separate characters, it's just a bit weird. It is a bit weird. I don't know. I think I'd just rather have one sting with six different attires to pick from. I don't know. I'd, uh, I'm sure for some people it's different. But, but they have said that... Um, 2K have said that the fact they've got different... Um, the fact they've got different uh, versions of Sting, if they took away those versions of Sting, they wouldn't have replaced them with other wrestlers. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that was 2K's excuse. So, it, it, it seems to me like they had literally just done that to try and get the numbers of people on the roster up, I suppose, isn't it? Now, again, we've got a situation here to see what happens when two guys fight on the outside. Last year, it was really dodgy. Um... And they would fight to about 7 or 8 before getting back in the ring. And there we go. Finn Balor there sending Demon back in the ring after about a 4 count. 3 or 4. So that's uh, interesting. So that, that that's a good one. Though. I like that because the amount of times I had to restart matches last year. I, can't, I Well, obviously I can't count. But the amount of times I had to restart matches last year solely because of... Um, solely because of uh, double count outs and stuff like that. It was so frustrating. Really was frustrating. Um, and if that can be one thing off our list of problems this year, that'll make a much more smoother universe mode. Now, universe mode that should come out to you a little bit quicker and maybe universe mode that I won't sound so annoyed and frustrated with when I actually record it. That's my that's my target this year. My target this year is to My target this year is to um is to stop getting so annoyed with this game. And to actually uh yeah, hopefully put up something that I'm happy with as well as you guys as well, because I got really frustrated at some points last year as Demon lines up Finn Balor there for the hesitation drop kick right into the turnbuckle. Now Demon heads up top. If we see the coup de grace, we could see the end of the match. There it is, the coup de grace. The pin by Finn Balor. One, two. No, Finn Balor kicks out. There we go. That is the first time so far in these uh, random matches we've seen somebody kick out of a finisher maneuver. Now, I don't mind that. I like the fact that that's happened now. Because it happened too much for me last year. It gave us some really good matches, don't get me wrong. But I feel like that should happen rarely. I think if people rarely kick out of each other's finisher manoeuvres, or maybe just do it more on slow momentum rather than medium momentum, then that could be a better match for us. Um, but of course, if people just keep kicking out over and over and over and over again, which has got a bit frustrating last time, I think... I had one match in 2K17 where I think it was Undertaker versus Lesnar. And I'm pretty sure there was like eight F5s and like seven choke slams and four tombstones and three last rides. It was uh, it was it was crazy, crazy match. And uh, yeah, I want to make sure that that doesn't happen again this year. And it seems like 
we are getting a better version of the game and it's the finishes was always a problem with me last year so if that has been fixed this year as well that'd be fantastic normal like suplex there by Finn Balor Demon is positioned pretty well there for a coup de grab but Finn decides he wants to do a bit more damage potentially first sending Demon into the corner and looks like he might be looking to return the favour with the hesitation drop kick into the corner and are we going to see it followed up once again looks like we are Finn and it looks like the um, the, uh, the the pathfinding is a lot better this year as well. Oh, Demon Finn Balor able to crawl away from the dangerous situation. Maybe not enough though, as Finn Balor on the top still stalking Demon. And okay, that was poor AI. No way of getting around that. That was poor AI. And now Demon is willing Finn Balor back up to his feet and gets out of the top rope. Okay, another bit of. Rough looking AI, but wasn't as bad. Nice Liger Bomb there by Demon. And we do have another Daniel Bryan match uh, lined up in a couple of days' time for you as well. So, of course, remember if you have any suggestions for random matches, just like Little Mike Strike did here, then of course drop them down in the comments section below. Finn is going up top. I think he does have a coup de gras ready to use. He does. It's pretty far distance though, but he does hit it. Right in the middle of the ring. There's the pin. One. Two. Oh, and Finn Balor's demon attire kicks out now as well. So both kicked out of each of his finisher once. Which, like I said, I don't mind too much as long as it doesn't happen too much. Finn Balor now with the forearm and another forearm into the sling blade. Stamping on the arm of demon now bringing... Back up to the, I like the way there's not too many reversals this year, which is good as well. As Finn now looking for that reverse bloody Sunday. There it is. Or the 1916. Oh, Demon playing possum. They're booting the face of Finn. And I do... This, this, is, this is better. I can tell that this is a much better version of the game. I really can. I, I, I can feel a bigger gap. Now, I was a little bit dubious, I must admit. Watching some of the people's videos on um, on YouTube and so forth. I was a little bit dubious of the little bits that I'd seen. But from what I've seen in the uh, the three random matches we've done. As Demon lines up a second coup de grace of the match. And hits it. Yeah, from what I've seen in the two that we've done already. It looks like it's a much more stable game that is going to act a lot more... Um, a lot more fun for me. Recording anyway. Now this was a cheeky one. Uh, for ranking points, but I think it's going to end up with no change on that on ranking points because, of course, Demon gets five and Finn Balor loses five. It's the same person, so ranking points do not count in this one anyway. But it was a really good match. I quite enjoyed this. I really did enjoy this, actually. Dropkick in the corner there. That was for the second of the coup de grace. And Demon Finn Balor showing that he is the superior version of Finn Balor. And he is. Like I said, he was uh, about four ratings higher on the game anyway. And a very effective wrestler. And it'll be interesting to see how many times we see Demon Finn Balor in the WWE 2K18 Universe mode, of course, part of Mayhem. So, guys, that's the end of this random match. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do hit the like button. And, of course, if you've made a suggestion, you want to make sure you see it. Or you've enjoyed what you've seen or you're looking forward to the Universe mode, then, of course, hit that subscribe button as well. I've been Chabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon for another WWE 2K18 Random Match. Bye.